Hey guys, we're going to shoot a video for cross-cultural communication class and the theme of today's video is music. So mainly we're going to be focusing on traditional and modern music of course, but we're going to focus slightly on the differences and similarities between Malaysian and Pakistani traditional and modern music. And as you can hear behind me, there's some traditional Malaysian music playing right now. So that's the perfect setup for our theme. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hello, Mr. Ali. Hello, Logan. So where are you from again? Let's just clarify that. I am, I'm not born in Saudi Arabia, I live there, but I am from Pakistan, a native of Pakistan. Native Pakistan, Islamabad, nice. So, would you say you know Pakistani music very well? I would say I know about 60% of it. That's not bad. So, are you familiar with Malaysian music, by the way? Uh, no, I've heard it on the radio, but I'm not very familiar with it. Okay, so before we go any further, this is for our cross-cultural communication class and this is going to be regarding the music of Pakistan and how it differentiates from the music in Malaysia. So we're uh, going to get straight into the questions right now. Okay, okay. Firstly, have you heard any Malaysian music before that is either very traditional or very different from what you're used to hearing? I think... Uh, one of the events in Inti on, I think, Cultural Night, mm -hmm. maybe I heard it, but I'm not really sure if it was Malaysian or Bruneian or one of the uh, ASEAN. Yeah. Alright, moving on to the next question. What was your first impression of the song you're telling me about? It sounded very nice, very calming, very... To be very honest, it sounded okay-ish, as if... I would listen to it again, but not over and over. Alright. Not... Moving on, would you say that the music you hear here is a representation of your knowledge of Malaysian culture? The music was quite nice. was very, very nice. Okay, so... So what do you know about Malaysian music, particularly? Um, the modern one, I'm not really familiar. Modern music, modern Malaysian music, I haven't specifically heard it. The traditional one that I heard, or I assume that I heard, was very instrumental. So, based on what you've just explained to me, do you feel that there are many similarities between Pakistani and Malaysian music? Yeah, I mean, if I had to say all music is in the baseline similar. It okay. always, almost always starts out with instruments and slowly and steadily evolves to lyrical. I mean, that's the baseline of my understanding of music. In your opinion, do you think that uh, learning the traditional music or even modern music of a certain culture of a country makes it easier to understand the culture of the country? Yes, very much so. If you like, you don't even need to understand, if you like uh, a certain genre, no, I'm not even saying the whole music, this a certain genre of a country, the music genre of a country, you would already be immersed into its culture, already be like part of it at the least, or be dipping into it like a toe or something. Nonetheless, uh, music itself, if you like it, of that country, the whole of it, you are already completely immersed in the culture, like through and through. So it does make it much easier to learn the culture. Yeah, much easier for if you're traveling and if you just want the immersion of you as a foreigner, as an expat, as an international to be easier in a different country. You can just, in, a, in, in my advice, just listen to their music, traditional, modern, all kinds of genres. You will know more about, like you would probably know about 40 to 50% of the country, of the people, just by listening to the music, if you pay attention. So music, you'd say, reflects the culture of the country? Culture, people, the country itself, the nature of the country, to some extent. Yeah. To some extent. Okay. Like I said, 40 to 50%. 40 to 50%. Alright, I like that. So, to close it all off, would you recommend any of your Pakistani friends some of the music you've listened to? Uh, particularly some of Malaysia's more modern music. Modern music. Again, I'm not a very fan of modern music. And uh, I mean, very honestly, I found this radio station, hits.fm. Yes. Yeah, it has a lot of different types of music. So I'm not really sure which one's Malaysian or which one's Chinese. I mean, like, they mainly play English songs. So yeah, 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 it's more Western. Yeah, yeah. But I've also seen some Chinese songs, some like, uh, some. Malaysian or again ASEAN, I'm not really sure which. So Malay songs. Yeah, 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 and uh, some of some of them, not like always. So I would recommend just listening to that FM, trying to find the one that is for you. Anyway, 
So what do you think if Pakistani music and Malaysian music became even more similar? What if Pakistani music took elements of Malaysian music and it, instead of that 40%, it became, say, 70%, 80% similar? Would you still like it or would you say it would be worse? Like which one, Pakistani or Malaysian? No, Pakistani music, if it was more similar to Malaysian music, would you think, do you think you'd prefer that or do you think it would be worse? Mm, it wouldn't be worse, but I would say that if, if not only the music, but the countries themselves, like, went to from 30 to 40 to 70 percent immersion, the music would be liked by almost everyone. That type of music would be liked by everyone. Like, I mean, if you get to know, if Pakistanis and Malaysians get to know that, oh, the one thing we like about our countries, which is similar, the music is getting like uh, a camera of sorts. Mm -hmm. They're gonna actually want to know about the other country, right? About the other country's people. Yep. So, it'll just bring people closer. So music brings people closer. Definitely. Okay, well, now that that's over with, I'm going to show you a modern Malaysian song. Hopefully you like this one a bit more. Right. It's a modern Malaysian rap song. Uh, all right, all right. And Let's it's it. titled Hard the Pope. What do you think of it so far? Damn nice. Yeah. Compared to the... The one is damn nice. So, I'm like, surprised if they go for DJ clubs or something. Oh, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you understood, it would be so much better because of the lyrics itself. So, like, basically what they were going on about is, like, in the early days, you didn't trust me, you didn't think I would amount to anything, and now that I've made something of myself, you're coming after me, it's, uh, you're trying to be like, uh, like, I'm your adoptive son of some sorts. So, this It's a success is... story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the way it's telling me in the vibe before, you telling me uh, the lyrics or just giving me the gist of it. Okay, mm -hmm. that about wraps up our songs. Now when we come back, you're going to show me two Pakistani songs. One traditional, one modern. Right. And we're going to see how they stack up to these. Okay. Alright, we'll be back in a bit. So now we're going to listen to some traditional Pakistani music. Excited. Can't wait to give you my... It's reactions. very, very traditional, so don't expect much. Very traditional, I like that. Yep. I like the sound of that. After 42 minutes. <laughs> Out well, of one hour, so yeah. It is a compilation, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And towards the end, we got to the more lyrical ones that you mentioned, maybe a few of them you said, right? Yeah, lyrical, more of a chorus type of thing. Not exactly like, you know, one man lyrical. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And one thing I did notice is that they were more focused on rather just getting the tempo out than the meaning of things. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I mean, there is a meaning, but... I mean, it's not that much of, you know, words to focus on. So you're probably going to be going with the tempo and the music. And music. Yeah, pretty much it. Okay, well, so that sums up the differences between Pakistani and Malaysian music Tradition. in a nutshell, I guess. Uh -huh. And thank you very much for showing me this song. I liked it. Mm -hmm. Appreciate broadening my horizons a bit, you know. Yeah. And I hope we managed to do the same with you, and I hope you liked our songs. And remember, check out MK and more of K Clique songs. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. They're really good. They were really nice. For a rap song, they were really nice. So. Yeah, try and recommend it to some of your friends too. Mm -hmm. Okay then, thank you very much and we'll end it here. Okay, hi, could you please yeah. introduce yourself first? Um, I'm Maria, this is my first semester and I'm from Pakistan. And in this interview, we're going to focus on music, traditional as well as modern music and mainly the traditional and modern music of Pakistan and how it is similar and differs to the traditional and modern music of Malaysia. First question, have you heard any Malaysian music before? Um, not, that, not, not that many, I just heard one today. Um, it was a traditional beat music. <laughs> Alright, would you say that the music we have here represents your knowledge of Malaysia and its culture? Um, the first one, the musical beat one might a little bit but not that much because it sounded more like Arabic or Desi beat to me so I was really uh, kind of confused okay. so I wouldn't be able to tell first time this Malaysian song.
kind of like um, che more cheerful mm -hmm. because um, when I think of Malaysia, I think of islands and those beautiful places. So I think of more like cheerful beach. Okay. What do you know about Malaysian culture and particularly Malaysian cultural music? So from what I know, it's like they they I find it quite colorful. Like even the dresses they wear, I feel like they as I said they're from islands. So I guess color is a uh, a huge part of the culture then if it's like i think the styling or dressing is quite modest which is nice next up are there any similarities in the music here that you're used to from pakistan yeah the song uh, the musical b1 is, is really similar to how they use in our pakistani songs even now even the modern songs they always use that b because it just like a, it just makes it feel more authentic in your opinion does knowing the music of the uh, of a certain country help you learn the culture of that country? 50-50? 50-50, why do you say that? If you see music video, then you might be able to like see how and observe. Like if I see, if I would see a Malaysian music video, then I would be able to say, oh, Malaysia looks like this, people over there act like this, dress like this. But from just listening, I don't think you can tell too much. Hopefully you get to know more about the music and the culture in the days to come. Thank you very much. Okay, so in this segment we're going to just react to some videos. I'm going to show you one traditional and one modern Malaysian song. You're going to react to them and then after that you're going to show me one Pakistani song, preferably a modern one, and I'll react to that. Okay. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting really nicely. Yeah, starting really slow and nice. Yeah, very peaceful. That is more or less traditional Malaysian music. It's always a bit slower, more peaceful. Okay, so that just about wraps up uh, from the traditional side. Now I'll be showing you a modern Malaysian song. Okay. And it's called Hat the Po. So let's just get right into Hat the Po first. This one is actually really nice because it's not too aggressive. Mm -hmm. And it has a good message. I I don't like rap that have like party messages only like parties and all. I like these kind. The kind that's a bit more That tells a story, you know. Yeah, yeah. they are telling their stories exactly. actually. All three of them. <laughs> yeah, so what did you think about both songs? The first one is like I like the music and how it just reminds me of like uh, Aladdin. Or, it's like fantasy song. Um, it and it, I like how it goes. In a floor, it doesn't go too high or too low. Okay, so with that said, why don't you show me one modern mm, Pakistani song? Okay. okay. And now we're back for the second song. So, can you tell me the title of the song? Uh, it's called Tarasti Hai Nikahi Meri, and it's uh, by a new artist in Pakistan, Azim Azhar. And it's, it has a bit of like old school touch to it. You know, the traditional music is playing, but as well as it goes really slow and it's a very nice romantic song to listen to. Okay, let's react to this video. That's the traditional part of mm. it, right? It's good, I like it. And the girls, and basically they talk about their love life, like even if there's like a misunderstanding, they really want to solve it because they really can't be away even for a little bit of time. So it's more of a romance song? Right? Yeah. Was it featured in like any movies or anything? Yeah, it's in a movie. I like the song, it's really cool. Yeah, it's I like there it. is that sort of traditionalism in it, yeah. like you said, where it gets to that louder beat. Yeah. And then it's a bit more slower, slower. more modern. Yeah. Kind of gets a bit and more. And you can like feel the like emotions and, as yeah. well. Like they're not exactly too sad, but they're trying to just get things they're right. They're trying to get it right, yeah. And they want to tell their love story. But it's a beautiful song. It yeah, really reflects really their story very well. Yeah, it's really beautiful. It really puts it into perspective. Yeah. Alright, so based on that, I would say there really isn't that much difference in yeah, terms of Malaysian and true. Pakistani music. 
but I would say this song particularly did mention like showcase a lot of emotions yes. whereas the one that we showed you was lesser emotions right? mm-hmm. it's just more of a success story this is a love story that's yeah. got its own ups and downs on the whole I really liked it and that was a good song that's true like when I was listening to Malaysian Pete I was like it resembled a lot to Arabic and they see um, beats so I was that's why I think it attracted me more because like I'm used to the beat to was familiar, yeah, to you. familiar to me. Alright. Thank you very much Thanks. for your time.